Welcome back, rankers. Let's get into it. Some disturbing news on the proposed Australian internet filter this week, and I, for those of you playing at home, the Australian government is planning to introduce a mandatory internet filter that will be placed at uh, ISP level, so that every packet that Australians download will be checked against a blacklist, and if that uh, address matches the blacklist, uh, something on the blacklist, then of course you won't be allowed to go to that site. But a story yesterday in ABC News said that uh, one particular internet company, Internode, John Lindsay from Internode has said that they expect the filter to slow traffic down by about, or page load time, by about 200 milliseconds. Because let's face it, when you request a page through your browser, it has to go via the filter. The filter has to look up that address and then it has to check it against that blacklist and then it has to say, yes, you can look at it or no, you can't. And all of that process takes about 200 milliseconds. Now, Senator Stephen Conroy, the minister responsible for this farce, uh, has said that, you know, the talk of the internet slowing down is ridiculous. It's it's not going to be, you know, you, you'll barely notice it. It'll be like the blink of an eye. Well, he may barely notice it, but, you know, as I've been banging on for the last six months about site speed, uh, because Google has been banging on for about the last 12 months about site speed and page load time. And... I just did some quick calculations yesterday on uh, my blog, Jimboot blog, jimboot.com, and basically what Google told us last year, or actually back in 2006, was that when they did a study, and this is the, a report from um, Google's announcement back in 2006, they found that if a page took half a second longer to load, it would add up to a 20% drop in traffic. That's a 20% drop in business. So if a page is taking, say, about another quarter second to load, then presumably, and I, we don't know the scale of this because we have no one's run the test, but presumably it's going to result in about a 10% loss in business. Now, I don't know about you and other, and, and other business owners you might know, but a 10% drop in business is significant. So, I mean, and, and this would go across the whole of the Australian internet industry because it's not just whether you have an e-commerce site or not. It's whether someone decides to hang on and wait for that page to load before they hit the back button um, and pick up the phone. So it, it's not just e-commerce sites we're talking about. It's productivity. You think about how much time your staff or your company spends online and you add a quarter of a second to every page load time. What is that going to do to your productivity? So these things add up, and as Google knows, and why Google is so big on, on site speed now, is because it actually relates to business revenue. So for every half a second, a 20% loss in revenue. So it may seem uh, insignificant to Senator Stephen Conroy, but I would respectfully suggest that he doesn't know his ass from his elbow when he's talking about internet commerce, site speed, and how people use the internet. And that's what this is all about. But enough about that for today. I just wanted to show you a couple of things. A lot of people get, get a bit uh, upset when they can't work out what the hell Google's up to or, or why things won't happen they, and why they get conflicting things happening in Webmaster Tools versus Google Analytics and all these other tools that they have out there. This is the back end of our site, and this is a Joomla install, and I'm using a stats package within the Joomla install called uh, Joomla Stats. How about that? Uh, the reason I like Joomla Stats or similar stats packages at, that you control is because Google will not tell you a lot of things. The, one, the main thing Google will not tell you in Google Analytics or Webmaster Tools is... When did the Googlebot last visit your site and what did it look at? Joomla Stats allows you to do that. So if you do have a Joomla install, I suggest you get Joomla Stats uh, in installed in there. But basically, we can see here that at 4.50 this morning, Google came in and looked at one page. This is the page it looked at. 
it's the appear on the first page of Google page. When we go and have, so, you know, at 4.50 this morning. So then when we go and have a look at the case date, the case date says it was the 12th of May. So it's, it's about a week out of date. So Google, even though the case date hasn't updated, Google has actually been to that page and looked at it and indexed it. So just because the case dates are saying one thing, doesn't mean that Google isn't coming and visiting the site on a more regular basis. The case dates get updated. That'll probably get updated, I guess, in the next 48 hours, 48 to 72 hours. We'll see that appear as today. But don't don't get too upset if you the things in Google that don't make a whole lot of sense to you when they don't marry up, because it happens to all of us. And all you can do at the end of the day is make sure that you know as much as possible about what's happening to your site and what Google knows about your site. So if you don't have a, a Joomla install, or if, if anybody knows of a WordPress plugin that will give me similar stats, I'd love to find one. We've been having a hunt for one. We can't find one that actually tells us whether the Google bot's coming in. But that's really important because it's the one part of the equation that no one else can tell you, and it's something that you have to control. Hopefully that's helpful, and we'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye.